I hope these women sue the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Episode one of a new show on Netflix called Worst Ex Ever, brought to you by Worst Roommate Ever, tells the story of Ben Foster and the beautiful women that he beat and tortured. The episode starts and ends with Justine's story, but before Justine, there was Amber and Jamie. Amber met Ben in 2015. They were both working at a restaurant together. It was fine. It was great. He was tall. He did have a huge fascination with guns, and they did go to gun shows like every weekend, and he had knives that he would jokingly slit across her throat, but as a joke. So there were signs. Eventually, he becomes actually physically abusive, and one time it got terrifying. She thought she was going to die. He was wailing on her, beating on her. He gets a knife. She's defending herself. She's cut up everywhere. She somehow manages to army crawl out of the underneath garage door and she runs to the leasing office of their building. This woman is covered in blood, begging for someone to call 911. Enter the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. They interview her. Then they go interview him up in the apartment, he has cut up his face and told them that she initiated the violence. They fucking arrest her. They put her ass in handcuffs, covered in her own blood. Hmm. I wonder what, I wonder why they believed him over her. This woman should have gone to the hospital. They take her to jail and she's there for 18 hours. Then she gets home from jail. He has stolen all of her stuff. Doesn't even leave her underwear. She can't do anything about it. Now let's talk about Jamie. Ben comes into Jamie's life in 2017. She says it was always a little weird because he always was like sort of seeing other people. They were never an official couple. But eventually he becomes abusive to Jamie and Jamie doesn't tell anybody about it. She's embarrassed that she's in a relationship like this. And he was staying in her condo. She's so afraid of him, though, that in 2019 she starts getting hotel rooms during the week, but she can't afford weekend rates and so would have to go home. Eventually she's like, okay, I'll I'll file a restraining order because then he has to leave my house because it's my house. This is what fucking happens. I met the Las Vegas police around the corner from where my condo is at. And they tell me, okay, we're going to go serve it. I said, great. What happens if he doesn't answer the door? They said, nothing. I said, well, no, that, that's, my, that's my place. He moved his belongings to my place and I need to get into my place to get some things so I can get myself together for work. So, well, can you at least escort me into my place so I can get my belongings that I need so I don't get beaten up? Mm -mm. No, we don't do that. The police did take the restraining order and go to serve it to Ben. And as I thought, he did not answer the door. And that was that. They left and they left the paper there at the door. Those motherfucking assholes at the Las Vegas PD put her in more danger by leaving the restraining order there and not protecting her. So she waits out front for as long as she can until she's like, I'm tired. I want to go lay down. Goes into her condo, falls asleep, and wakes up with him on top of her, beating her and shaving her hair off. This becomes a 16-day ordeal where she is held captive by him in her own condo. He has her naked the entire time so that she can't hide anything, doesn't have access to her phone, full-on held her captive. She manages to convince him to leave the house by saying they need to get more food, hoping that she could find a way to escape. When they do the grocery store run, she gets away and eventually goes to a hospital because she was beaten and tortured for 16 days. The staff calls the police department, and this is body cam footage. She obviously has very little faith and trust in the police. They were the reason why this happened. It could have been completely avoided. Eventually, he is arrested. So now do you understand why I'm saying these women need to sue the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the Clark County District Attorney? They literally fed Jamie to her captor. In the case of Justine, she wasn't dating him. She worked with him and found out about his crazy past and told their employers he got pissed because he gets fired and knows that she told them that. And he goes to her fucking house, holds her captive, beats her. Thank God she's able to call her friend. Her friend comes over 
he's like, oh, hey, she's having a heart attack inside and then leaves. The friend is left like, hey, 911, I don't know what happened. She's covered in bruises. I don't know what happened. I don't want to spoil the whole thing. So if you haven't already watched Worst Ex Ever, go check it out on Netflix. It's very good, but it is in. Infuriating. All of the episodes have you pissed at the way it was handled by the authorities. I didn't watch the third episode yet. I skipped it. But the first episode is about these women. The next episode, oh, ooh, ooh, it's going to make you so mad. 